Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's a pleasure. It's always my honor to be greeting you and bringing this message of emancipation to you. Whereby I'm pointing you to look in order to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that is why uh, I want to speak to you concerning magnetic force of thought. And as we know, this black mystic from Ethiopia, he was mentoring Neville Goddard for over five years and as I would have shown to you before Neville came from a long family that goes way back to where they would have even a owned slaves and Abdullah was waiting for Neville specifically and Neville said that everything for Abdullah was symbology. So no one should be vexed or angry with me for explaining the symbology of why Abdullah chose Neville and said to Neville that thousands of years back they were both philosophers in China and he would have shared certain secret with him and they would have came to an agreement whereby Neville was going to forget and Abdullah was going to come and remind Neville of what would have done and I'm taking it right back to our ancestors way back in antiquity and way back in Kemet and so on and the single eye message of self-realization that is written in the plagiarized book which is known as the bible in Matthew 6 22 where it says if you eye be single your whole body will be full of light and so Abdullah taught Neville that all of that has to do with the magnetic force of thought but even until Abdullah was teaching Neville that the Bible is mental and it is psychological and that it is not literal, neither is it secular history, Abdullah would have not have made it practical to him until he knew that Neville was ready. And so what Abdullah did, he used this magnetic force of thought and the behalf of Neville Gallant to put him in a place of affluence so he would realize that we are all connected and that there's one power and that power can use to be creative or destructive and that there are those who would use this power to bring freedom and those who would use this power to bring slavery that's why I'm bringing a message of freedom pointing each and every one to look inwardly so this magnetic force of thought was experienced when Neville was willing to listen to his teacher which he referred to as his father when he called him Abba Abba father and we are the fathers of civilization. Our civilization begins back in Africa. Okay, and go all the way back to Ethiopia. And that's why you have to understand the teaching of Neville Gadded and Abdul and all see the symbology. Because Neville himself said everything for Abdullah was symbology, as I would have said before. And so when Abdullah taught Neville to sleep in his mother's home in Barbados in his imagination and to walk the streets of Barbados in his imagination while he residing in New York he was teaching him what our ancestors would have already known which is the power of thoughts the power of the mind and the magnetic force of thought 
because everything is energy vibration and frequency and so when Neville had this burning desire it was as a result of Abdullah using the magnetic force of thought and that is why my brother my sisters because of a lack of knowledge the people perish and where there is no vision the people will always perish but we see Abdullah was a visionary Abdullah knew that many of our people because of their mental disease that they are suffering from not knowing their true spirituality and not knowing their true identity that they would always look up to their oppressors because of the colonial mentality so he makes sure that he taught one whereby you can chase his lineage way back to the slave masters to show that many would listen to him and they would embrace him then they would come one like me and that's why Neville himself said that there is one who would come and bring forth the simplicity of this message and he would not be one who's trying to take the message and commercialize it he would not be one who's speaking about just the law of attraction in this imaginary world creating just these imaginary things only but one who would say yes use the law to ease the blows but remember this message is a message of self-realization that is why if you listen to anyone on the internet there's only one who's teaching the single eye message of self-realization where Matthew 6 22 says that if I be single your whole body be full of light and when you look at those who believe in Egyptology and so on and those who believe in Kemet and so on you see the symbol of the eye and they call the eye of Horus and I can speak from experience of that eye that would have awakened in me and I can speak of being ascended as a fiery being and coming out of my skull and understanding the death, the burial, the resurrection, the virgin birth and all of these things and understand that the Jesus and Mary story is the biggest lie that has been ever fed to humanity and that people who look like me who believe in Jesus they are in idolatry and they are worshipping the white man to be their lord, their god, their master and their savior because of ignorance and that is why I had to speak the truth and I have to put together the book The Black Mystic from Ethiopia Never Got a Mentor which many believe that when I would have written that book they think I was on some sort of low vibration, low energy no, it is the truth for when you know the truth it's only the truth that will be able to set you free so back to the topic of the magnetic force of thought our people are people who look like me for example let me say this if the majority of people in Africa learn the magnetic force of thought and how it works they would be able to manage the wealth of Africa for themselves more than having others managing the wealth of Africa and keeping them in poverty and put keeping them in war right now in Nigeria there's so much war because there's so much injustices that have been done to the people because of their Europeanized leaders who have been taught and been educated by a, a European system so there's a European system of government that is set up in all of these countries that they refer to as third world country to keep the people in mental slavery and that's why many will never discover the magnetic force of thought because for that to happen you have to take full control of your mind and you have to stop being religious and superstitious 
And that is why every time Neville opened his mouth and said that if you believe in a God outside of yourself, you have the wrong God. He's saying that the white man has given the world of, black, of the black nations a false God to worship. He said one way, I'm putting it the other way to show you what he's actually saying. You see, my brother and my sisters, you know, it really sometimes beats me how people want to talk about Neville Goddard and want to uplift Neville Goddard. Neville Goddard was saying that the white man is a liar and a thief. That's what Neville Goddard is saying. There's no way. You, you, you got to be kidding me to be talking about Neville. There's so much people putting up so much videos about Neville Goddard trying to commercialize the truth of self-realization. Never been taught by a black man. My brother, my sisters. You have to be blind not to see that Neville Goddard has been actually exposing his ancestors of their cruelty. Do you think it was coincidence of me finding that article? No, that was divine timing. That synchronicity. Look, look, I'm living here in this country. I hardly ever read the news. Then it turned up in my feed of the garden in Barbados who would have, who, 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 who would have um, died. And then the, the, the journalist who was writing the article was speaking about, about the interview that he would have done with this garden who's related back to, to, to Victor and Joseph garden where Neville himself said where they started first business. And anyone who's honest and true to themselves and live in the Caribbean and come to know about Neville Garden, they will know that any, any Caucasian or white man or a woman who has, whether is it lands and, and all of these things in the Caribbean, they didn't burn, they didn't actually, they, they were born here because of if you chase their, their, their family lineage, they were slave masters. Like for example, in my country, the Punets, they own most, they, they, they own, I don't think there's anyone in this island own more lands than the Punets. And they're white. And they could chase it right back to their, fa to their forefathers. And there are other names I can call to. Okay, they can chase it right back and see. So, this law of thought and the magnetic force of thought this is something that needs to be taught in our schools instead of teaching the children about slavery and teaching them a bunch of bullshit and messing with their minds so they, they will have an employee mentality and, and you just prepare them to get a job teach them of their creativity Teach them of their ability. And that is when Neville Garden lectures would make sense and deserved to be fed to all of humanity. Don't just speak about the law and not the promise. So, my brother, my sisters, let me come here to a close to say to you that we are all connected. And that there, there is a law of polarity. There's light and there's darkness. The darkness reflects the light and the light reflects the darkness. And we must accept the fact that there's a, there's a law of polarity and there's the power of choice. This body is the slave and the mind is the master. What are you going to choose? Are you going to choose the body? Are you going to choose the mind? Where are you going to live? Are you going to live from here? In the five senses only? Are you going to live from here? 
So, my brother, my sisters, it's very important to understand the law of polarity. Bringing deliverance to a people can spell trouble for another people. And that's how the game is being played. So, my brother, my sisters, I just want to say to you, activate that power that is within you. Activate that power that is within you. That you will be able to exercise your creativity. So, with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, it makes sense to you and resonated with you. If, if you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraged to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, I would like to encourage you to check out my page where I'm teaching the inner sun science and technology to create your reality consciously or the inner sun engineering to create your reality consciously. And as we know, the ice people want to black out the sun because Bill Gates is of the ice people because there's the ice people and the sun people. Okay, you need to know that. Okay, and uh, he wants to black out the sun and say he's cool in the earth and speak about you know, <laughs> global warming and so on, you know, and all of that, all of that is coming after they would have given us the S-O-N to believe in. And, and right next to where I'm living right here, uh, about just three minutes a walk from where I'm living here, there's a church right there with a cross on it that says Jesus is the light of the world. That's such, that's so much, that is so idiotic to think that a man 2,000 years ago could be the light of the world. How could a S-O-N be the light of the world when a S-O-N can never exist unless therefore be the S-U-N? If the sun refused to, 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 to rise, everyone on this earth would be dead. There wouldn't be no life. No human life, no animal life, no plant life. And that's a fact. And even the Bible tells you that the Lord thy God is a son, S-U-N, and a shield, and no good thing will he withhold from you. The son has never withhold any good thing from humanity. For the son will pause all of humanity and give all of humanity its energy. And then you're told also that the son of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. So righteousness is a discovery. It's a realization. Not something that you attain. You know, and my brother and my sister, I'm saying all of this because, you see, when I was 30 years of age and I met that burning bush that doesn't consume and the man that walks from that burning bush that gave me my commission, he was a melanated one just like me, a black man. And at that time, I was listening to a white man by the name of William Branham, not knowing who William Branham was at that time. And I followed the teaching of William Branham for seven years to come to know that he was a part of the KKK. And I could unfold everything that William Branham would have ever taught and show you that they were giving black people the exoteric and they were keeping the esoteric understanding and why he left in his church saying, be still and know that I am God. So I can go into many, 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 many things, my brother and my sisters. But at the end of the day, all I'm trying to do is speak the truth. Because I know it's only the truth that will be able to set you free. And I'm speaking as a free man. Because not until you overcome that Jesus idol are you a free man. So, with all of that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to say to you, if you would like to donate to this work, also we have a PayPal and the link is down below. So you can just check out all the information that is down below. And also, uh, I have um, a website where I'm doing blogs. I think I would have written about already about, say, 14 blogs. And I will uh, encourage you to check out those blogs. It's Alan Hansen, uh, wisdom com. Okay, but the information would be down below. I'll provide that information for you. So, with that being said, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.